Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis. This is the Seasoned Adult Show, and I have Peggy Montgomery Ford here today to talk about things she does at the Senior Center and other things she's involved with um, in her spare time. So tell mm -hmm. us first, Peggy, how did you get involved with the Senior Center? Well, my husband and I moved down to the Eastern Shore from Wilmington, North Wilmington, Delaware, Okay. back in the fall of 2011. And um, we kind of did a semi-retirement thing for a while. We didn't work for about a year, and but I wanted something to do, and everybody was telling me about the Senior Center over at Graysonville. So right. I said, well, I'm going to go over there, and right away we fell in love with the place, and we've been going faithfully every day pretty much since. And, Tell me um, some of the activities you do there. Oh, uh, gosh, they have exercise. Well, they have a full gym, which is really nice. Right. Uh, you can use the equipment there, the treadmills and things. They also have a list of so many exercise classes and fit and fun, it's called. Moving and Grooving is a great dance class that I like to do bright and early on Monday mornings at 8.30. Um, and just different classes. They even have uh, a full computer room where you can go and learn different you know, aspects of the computer like Facebook and how to get around on Facebook and social media. So um, there's always something to do there and it's a great bunch of people and it's, to me, they're not just friends, but their family. Right. So. So you're there every day? I try to go every day. Um, since I've been doing a, another, I'm working now too, I'm a co-publisher of a, a, a women's journal. But I do try to go over almost every morning through the week just to get some time for me. Right. And uh, right. to enjoy my time with my friends over there. So, so did your husband continue, or well, is he, he he's kind of fizzled? <laughs> well, he, he, he hasn't really fizzled. He, um, he took a full-time job um, doing something that he's really enjoying doing right now, and uh, he just doesn't have the time to get over there because, right. you know, they close at 4, and he doesn't get home from work till 4. So, But um, we, we get our time in just to go out and exercise and walk around Ken Island. It's so beautiful. That's what we do for for our exercise. So, so you mem mentioned co-publishing. Tell us about what you're co-publishing. Oh, what is it? It is the Midshore Women's Journal. Um, it's a uh, publication that's put out quarterly that um, is full of education and information for the women in the community. Okay. Um, I've been a co-publisher with them for almost a year now and uh, takes up quite a bit of my time. It's a full-time job but I love it because it, I can work out of the home and I can call on clients, make appointments when, when I want to go out. If it's snowing, I don't have to go, you know. <laughs> What's required when you publish? What does that actually entail? Well, I'm a co-publisher and also in sales. So okay. I, it you know, requires me to go out throughout the four counties of the Midshore uh -huh. and introduce our, myself and the publication to all the different businesses in the area. Um, in the hopes that they'll, they'll come into the journal just like the Senior Center right. has taken a page in, in our journal. And then uh, in publishing, it's just a matter of meeting the deadline to get to the printer. Um, I also do the photography okay. for the front covers oh, of the yeah. journal. Oh, the, the whole, the, don't you have a wall uh, of fame? the wall of fame over at yeah. Graysonville Senior Center, yes. I did all the photography there. Um, when we were up in Wilmington, Delaware, my husband and I had a photography, very nice photography business for 25 years. Okay. So when we came down here, we decided we were going to downplay no that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But when the journal approached me about doing photography for them, that's how I got involved with them. Okay. Um, I, you know, I do the front covers for them and some of the interior photographs as well. And the hall, the wall of fame over at the Graysonville Senior Center. So how does someone get one of these publications? Where are they uh, the, available? These are distributed throughout the Midshore, the four counties. Uh, we have a team of four or five people on um, the publishing team. And we personally go around, we have our sp specified areas, and we personally go around and distribute okay. um, the journals to any place where any place that has a waiting room, you know, doctors, dentists, spas, fitness clubs, cafes, okay. restaurants, and so on and so forth. So we deliver, and um, that's how people pick them up. They're free. Okay. And it also usually includes um, exposure on our social media for our um, advertisers that are in the journal. So it sounds like you're pretty busy. <laughs> yeah, I am very busy. <laughs> but it's it's a great place to be right now. I'm really, really loving what I'm doing. I, I love, you know, the time I spend with my friends at the Senior Center. And then I love the contacts and connections I'm making through the journal. 
Um, there's some really wonderful people that own businesses in the Midshore area, and they've so been very. I saw the pictures in Graysonville. Explain to me what the wall is. How did how did they how did that start? In okay, well, what happened about a couple years ago? Um, I guess it's been about three years ago. We started that project. Um, we decided it would be nice. You know, since everybody's so friendly there and want to, everybody wants to get to know everybody, it's hard. There's so many people there. So we decided it would be nice to put up a Hall of Fame uh, photographs. And, and as we get new members coming into the Senior Center, we take their photograph with permission. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, you know, crop them name. all the same. We put, and they put their name up there, they will, their birth date if they want, and what their hobbies are. And that's how people really get to know who's who right. in the community center. So it's really nice, really nice. Yeah, I mean, and it, it makes it easier to put a name to a face. Absolutely. You know, because with some people, it's hard to remember who they are. <laughs> I know, I, well, I'll be out somewhere uh -huh. and I'll see somebody and like, where do I know her Especially from? Especially when they're out of their element. Uh -huh. And you know, oh gosh, yeah. I know, she works when, at the Acme. Now I know who she is. Yeah, yeah. When, when we went to the luau. I mean, it's uh -huh. been a couple years since I interviewed Ginger and Ginger knew that she knew me. And I can't, and then when she realized Mike and I were filming, that's, you know, it's like, I remember you. Oh, uh, okay. You okay. know, but un, until they make that connection, right, right. it's like, I know I know them, but I don't know from where. Well, I do. Um, I do a lot of the photography there too. I, you know, the luau that uh, uh -huh. we had a couple weeks ago, and uh, I also went over to the Ken Island Senior Center and did the Elvis right. program with them. And uh, so, anytime they have special events, I really try to make myself available to be there. And it's so nice because a lot of times, like the Bay Times or whatever, we'll pick up the pictures and help promote the Senior Center. So, if someone wants to put an ad here, mm -hmm. who do they contact? Me. Do you want to give them that information? Sure, if you don't mind. No. It's uh, Peggy Montgomery Ford, and it's uh, the Midshore Women's Journal, and I still have my Delaware phone number. It's 302-494-0802. Okay. Or you can reach me by email at peggy at midshorewj.com. Anytime. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's nice to know. I mean, a lot of times people think that the senior centers are just people that don't have anything else that they're involved in. And mm, there are that. a lot of people mm. that are still very much involved and Absolutely. then just slip in there to one class mm -hmm. or, Absolutely. you know, a couple times a week, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So thank you for coming well, thank in. thank you. I appreciate you having me. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Hopefully you, people will pick this up and say, hey, I, I remember <laughs> reading about her or hearing about her. Good. I hope so. You can pick them up anywhere. The next issue is coming out April 1st. will be our spring issue for April, May, and June. Okay. Okay? Yes, Thank you so much. You're it's welcome. It's a pleasure.